Happy Motivational Monday everyone. We deep clean, declutter, and reorganize one small space a day, Monday to Friday. I've actually already done some cleaning today without the camera because honestly, it would be difficult to film. Um, if you saw a couple of our travel videos, our windows on our car were constantly smeared. We tried store-bought cleaner, didn't work. We tried tr uh, specifically vehicle glass cleaner, didn't work. We tried generics, we tried name brands. Nothing worked. This is gonna sound crazy. Literally, we ended up using, we went to Walmart today and bought a brand new spray bottle, filled it half with tap water and half with vinegar, and that did it. We had the heater on in the truck kind of to warm it up to kind of break up some of that grease from just, you know, your breath and all that. Um, I don't know all the science behind that, but that's what I was told. Um, so that worked. So I took time to do that, and I took time to, one of the other windows in the house was just like, nothing would clean it. It doesn't get a lot of sunlight on it. So we constantly like have to air it out to keep like the, the moisture from building up on it and stuff. And it's one of the, like I said, it's one of the windows in the house. Sunlight rarely ever comes on it to like dry it out during the day when it has the condensation on it. So it's like a pain to clean and it's like right above a garden too. So like it gets a lot of pollen and things. And that cleaned it today. And I was like, whoa, like I actually went to put it up and I was like, oh, I need to go ahead and close the window. It was already closed. So that window was already clean. But for now, I have about an hour and a half before I need to go get Matt for work from work. So I'm just gonna take you through just stuff that I need to get done around the house now that those two chores are out of the way.
cleaning for this week we had to unhook this to get some calcium buildup out of it uh, sometimes every now and then when the city comes and shuts the water off to do some maintenance work we end up getting calcium buildup in our lines when we get through some other things going on around the house right now we may look into like a softener or filtration system of some sort because this has become a regular problem over the past two months where it's doing that so but this is also another part of just cleaning today. So use the air compressor, cleaned all this out, swept, um, took these off, cleaned them out, use the air compressor to blow out because there was a buildup in the cold line. The hot line was fine. It's just the cold line and it's only been the cold lines. Um, it's been the cold line in here and the cold line in my bathroom mostly. Weird. I don't know why. So dishwasher's running right now. I forgot to run it last night, but that's okay. I try to run it every day. It doesn't always happen. But I'm going to leave this here until I can finish up. But another thing is, if I've already got the washer pulled out, and it'll pull out a little bit more, I just found out, I'm going to try to get back here and use the vacuum and vacuum out behind the dryer. It's something you're supposed to do routinely anyways. And I try to make sure to do it at the holidays every single time. Um, I've said this before, one of the reasons why I'm super particular about making sure the, va the dryer stays vacuumed out regularly as they you know tell you you should is because I actually had a friend in middle school whose house burnt down because their dryer caught fire at night um, which is also why I try not to use the dryer at night so I'm gonna pull this out try to get all this vacuumed out and then I'm gonna also run some more laundry couldn't run laundry yesterday because of the water buildup but somebody help me right yes you can have candy <laughs> it's after breakfast but she that was a big job she had to help with and she crawled back here and did all the sweeping for me so I could help with the water or so I could get the water hookups ready and all that and move our cart out here. I love this cart Matt built me. It's excellent. It fits right between the washer and dryer and it holds like the detergents. I always have one extra because it, if I don't buy another one as soon as I finish one off, I run out every single time. So once this one gets finished off um, and I move that one up here, I'll buy another one because again like I, I have I've had that happen so many times that I don't want it to happen in the middle of like a big laundry week so once I finish off one I buy another one I buy the dryer sheets in bulk those I don't buy ahead of time because it's like this is between the washer and dryer and sometimes if I leave them out for too long they'll start getting stale I guess also while I have the vacuum in here I will vacuum this off and I keep like my shout and the oxy I was going to get more shout they didn't have a shout refill so I used ox or uh, oxy this time I also keep baking soda and bleach down here those aren't supposed to be touching I may put those in between them those aren't supposed to be touching so that way like if I need baking soda but not bleach they're not cross contaminated I'm also working on bedding this week and stripped all the kids beds and um I'm not showing their room this week because we just I'll get to that eventually but we're not showing the room this week but we are like we're completely stripping out their room like the only thing in their room right now are their dressers and their bed everything else is out of there right now like we're completely stripping it out i'm going to be vacuuming off their bunk bed um uh, bunk beds 
Is it bunk beds if it's only one set of bunks? I don't know. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. Is it bunk beds because the bunk bed has two beds? Or is it bunk bed because it's only one bunk with two beds? Well, technically it has three. Because theirs is a uh, bunk bed with trundle. So, um, everything's stripped out of there right now. And we're going to vacuum it. And the kids have been having fun having sleepovers in the uh, meantime. So, <laughs> they love it. It's fun. They're loving it. Um... But yeah, and they need to vacuum that off. But in the meantime, while I'm stripping off all their bedding and all that, it's not like anything contagious. It's not anything bad. It's really cool. So I'll show you eventually, but we're working on their room. It's not like that. It's not like the clean sanitary reasons why we're doing it. It's just we're doing it. Um, but I'm going to vacuum off the wood on their bed, vacuum everything out, use the air compressor on places I can't reach, um, pulling their bed away from the wall, getting a really good uh, scrub down of all the walls in their room, just like stuff like that. So that's why all their bedding is in here, which is why I need this put back. But again, before I put this back, I'm going to vacuum back there. <laughs> 